Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I must apologise for not being online for the past two weeks. Last week I did actually film twice um, and neither time did the uh, film actually take or happen or it got cancelled. I have no idea what exactly went awry but we're going to try again today. Um, what I did was I showed you guys, or I tried to show, how I use my binding cradle. Um, but I thought I would just go ahead and do that again today. Um, what I've done is I've got three notebooks here. Um, they're little uh, insert size traveler's notebooks. This one has a mixture of lined plain and music papers uh, so just a little junk journal whereas these two are uh, just these will be for myself for my own use and um, it's just copy paper that I've got in here um, so you know it doesn't matter which side I really use, although I suppose <laughs> the front is the front. You can't deny that. Um, so, so yeah. So let's go ahead. Let me show you what what I do um, when I use my binding cradle. Um, it's probably one of the best things that I ever bought myself. Um, part of the well, you know, my book binding kit is one of my. Um, I've gone blank. One of my bone folders. Uh, this is a decorated one which I got from uh, the vintage book company. They up in Orkney and I just I love the um, the look of it, the feel of it and I like that it's got the more round curve. This one is slightly more pointed. I've got a variety uh, of, of different bone folders that I've, you know, when I I buy them when I see them and I've, I've got the money. Um, this is my little punching awl. I keep it, I keep it the, the little tip safe and protected by just sticking it into um, a wine cork. Now this is one of the smaller ones. Um, I've got several of these as well. A lot of, there are some of them that are, are bigger. But for today I just thought I'd do this. Then I've got some really good strong barber thread. Now barber uh, in the UK, um, I, they they manufacture um, uh, clothing for the country set. So you know it's it's really good quality. Um, and this is something that I I picked up years ago from um, Shepherd's Bookshop. So what I use with this um, is. some uh, fresh and actual beeswax. My husband used to do archery um, and so he would wax the string that he would tie the feathers onto the arrows. So I claimed one of the um, the beeswax bars uh, from him and essentially what I do is I cut a piece of the barber thread and I just run it through simply and easily through the wax. It just it strengthens strengthens the thread and it prevents it from uh, from splitting and also it just makes it easier to to go ahead and tie. Um, so yeah so we've got that and that. So this is the this is the cradle uh, that I mentioned to you guys before, and I've also showed it off. Um, let's see, this is by uh, a company that I found on Etsy. They also sell this, I think, on Amazon. It's called Time to Create, and it's just a really sturdy wooden block. You know that's basically been 
shaped into this wedge shape which is completely what I need purely because I don't have like what a lot of ladies use is um, like thick paperback books like um, like a you know uh, phone books and stuff like that I just I don't have it um, and I've tried my utmost to punch holes properly and straight and it just honest to god it just does not work and the frustration the it, it drove me crazy so I ended up just you know investing this cost me 15 pounds and I'm happy I've bound several journals now um, let me show you I bound several journals now using this. These are all craft text journals. They are gorgeous. I love them. They are available in my shop. Um, I've got lovely paper in here and just look how incredibly neat and tidy those holes are. I am in love. Makes life for me so much easier. So I would highly recommend one of these. Um, okay, oh, and this is the other necessity that I have got. These are the a variety of needles. These are also all from um, from Shepherds. So I'll be choosing probably the biggest one there just because it makes life so much easier rather than fiddling around with one of the smaller ones. So yeah, I just want to make sure that everything is still in frame and then I'll be back. Hi, so I am back. So let me just show you. This is the paper. These are, it's just a standard copy paper uh, that I've cut down to size. This is um, just a standard uh, scrapbook paper. It's from one of the Prima Prima pads. I just want to clip those pages together and basically what I want to do is just wedge, wedge them all in properly. Clip them. Now I'm just going to do a standard um, pamphlet stitch. I'm not going to worry about because I'm not going to be selling these, these are for myself just to use. This is for note taking and notes for my journals um, and for my writing, the new novel write that I'm thinking of writing. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do three holes uh, relatively, you know, in from there, from either side and then one through the middle and then I'm just going to sew them together. So let's start with that. that, with that, there we go, I hope everyone's having a, a, a good Thursday and you're looking, if you're in the UK, you're looking forward to um, the bank holiday that's coming up. Oh. So clearly I made a mistake. I basically just went ahead and recut the string because it was far too, far too short for me to... Um, to play around with so I've gone ahead and I've re-recut it now when you do the pamphlet stitch you can go either either way it doesn't really matter because at the end of the you know at the end you're just going to go uh, straight back in You hope. <laughs> there 
बनेगा and all the way to the top make sure we keep hold of our tail over there so that does not disappear and then you can see here is the uh, where I was struggling earlier and right now it's just a lot easier to get that through and put this on the other side there we go much easier with a decent length of a string see neatly punched over there so you just tie your knot if it will go through and tie it again and and snip and snip and then what I like to do is just do that and that and that I just push that flat a little bit make sure everything is flush and there we go so much easier so much easier let's try and do another one this time around let's actually make sure we've got a decent piece of string I'm not that worried about this actually running out anytime soon I think on this roll uh, I think I've probably got about 50 or 60 meters um, and I don't know about you guys but you know, you have to bind a lot of books. Okay, so that's ready. Let's, let's thread it. Oh my god. There we go. Clearly winning at today. Clearly winning at today. Make sure our papers and things are stacked neatly and flush in there. About an inch from that side. You can tell that the cardstock that I'm using is not very, um, you know, it's not very strong cardstock, which is fine. Like I say, these are just for me to play around with. There we go. Now this needle through the middle needle through the middle, keep hold in through the bottom we cannot get stuck on the cradle and through the top Winning, winning at today, just non stop winning for this. Back through here, just make sure it goes to live on the other side of our central thread. There we go. And there we go. Another very cute little quick and easy journal. All made because of this cute little piece of kit and um, that doesn't cost all that much. So 
yeah, I'm very, very chuffed with it. Um, I may I made quite a few, like I said, of these journals using it. These are the regular sized Craftex um, Traveler's Notebook insert styles. Um, and then these three little passport sized ones I also used the cradle for. Also Craftex, which I've embossed. They look amazing, they feel amazing, they basically vegan leather and I don't know about you but I I really I really like them and rate them. So anyway, thank you very much for being back with me and visiting me on the channel and listening to my ramblings and laughing at my inadequate stitching. <laughs> um Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what you've seen um, and I'll be back. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much.